I just turned off the air conditioning so that you would hear me. Um, I want to talk about Eugenia Clooney. Um, I wasn't going to make any video about this, but um, something triggered uh, severe narcissism in the family. Like uh, It was something that another YouTuber was talking about. And then it just kind of hit me like, oh my, this is really strong. And uh, Shane Dawson had done the documentary. I'm in the middle of watching it. I'm at the first 15 minutes and they have uh, Katie Morgan, who is um, has a big YouTube channel. She's a psychologist in LA. Um, so I wanted to talk about it, give my point of view on it. I didn't watch the whole video. If it's different than my interpretation or there's something else that I want to add, I'll do a separate video. But I want to get this one up because it's, it's important in my education on uh, toxic relationships and what people do to kind of deal with it. And also for other people who want to watch this, other people's point of view, meaning uh, my own. Um, <clears throat> so if you don't know who Eugenia Clooney is, uh, Eugenia Cooney is, you can Google him, Google her, um, I have a picture up for the thumbnail, uh, basically she had lost a lot of weight and people were trying to get her help. I first heard about her from uh, Onision and he went on and on about a year ago, even over a year ago, maybe two years. and. She kept losing weight and she kept denying it and finally what happened is that she withdrew uh, from YouTube and then somehow she came back and it kind of got around that she looked better because a photo leaked or something like that. Um, but the thing is that she isn't better and the from this um, person's YouTube channel there's the belief that, it may not be the same in this documentary, I'm going to check it out, that the mother is manipulating her. And that makes perfect sense to me. She's only 24, something like that. And if the mother is making money off of her, and she wants to please her mother or please the audience, um by being a sort of character, uh, it, it, it kind of makes sense, you know. So I wanted to kind of delve into that, I guess, uh, by first I'll watch the video, I'll watch this, see what they have to say. But the clarity in the sense that um, I don't know much about anorexia. I know that you know you you want to have control of something and you want to please people. So whatever your your mechanism to deal with it is, it is what it is. Um, but knowing that under the assumption that it's That she's kind of like under the control of her mother makes perfect sense in terms of a narcissistic relationship you know if Eugenia could I would you know she should leave um, being under the same toxic environment as her mother and I guess father I don't know if she has any brothers that would be completely unhealthy constantly in that realm of thinking that everything is okay. That's another thing that apparently she was told constantly by her brother, I think, and her family members that she looked okay. Um, the guy on the video said that maybe it's because people see her on a daily basis. I think also it's because they don't want to ruin a good thing. You know what I mean? and they want to kind of keep her under control and gaslight her, you know, make her doubt her reality, you know what I mean? 
that's another thing that kind of triggered me. That's like, if she, maybe she actually believes that she's okay. I know that when a lot of times if you have a, a dysmorphia, you know, I'm going to say anorexia is a body dysmorphia, obviously. You look at yourself in the mirror and you think you're fat when you are real thin and really unhealthy thin. And if you have family members telling you that you look okay, that can mess, that could be a big thing that messes with you. And that's gaslighting. And that's like, why ruin a good thing? You know, everyone's happy, you know? So those are the things that kind of made me want to think that made me think of this type of relationship and what someone will do to kind of survive, you know. And when there's money involved, if this Eugenia Cooney has, is a brand pretty much now, um, you know, you have uh, star mothers, you know, celebrity, mothers of celebrities who it's all about the money. It doesn't matter about the person anymore. It's a she's become a commodity. So it's like baseball mothers, you know, uh, baseball mothers or baseball fathers or whatever that parents who want their kids to do what they couldn't do. And they're living vicariously off that and their children's success reflects well upon them that they're successful but because they were not successful beforehand you know it's all about the ego so these are very uh eye-opening things and um i'm gonna keep watching this video if there's something different i'll do another video if there isn't i probably won't and uh, you know please comment on this uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel, you can too. I talk about other people here and there. A lot of it is just talking about my daily life and little turmoils that I go through with dealing with my um, issues. I'm thinking of progressing this channel to another point. Uh, first of all, rehashing why I started this YouTube channel. Uh, uh, more concisely as opposed to scattered because basically this this channel is a diary you know and it's a just a continual thought process and I don't script anything you know if I'm talking to somebody it's a little different it's gotten a little better but now I'm I want to consciously bring it up to a different point where I can help other people um, I'm not a therapist I'm going through my own issues, but I've been doing this for several years now, and I feel it's about time that I uh, start supporting other people and stop focusing on the same thing over and over again, which isn't going to get me to the next level. Does that make sense? Like claiming, <clears throat> not victimhood, but not complaining either, but kind of staying stuck in a certain area. If you help other people, you're going to help yourself. Once you start to help yourself, you have, you're more enlightened to help other people. That's pretty much what I want to say. So subscribe, click the notification bell, uh, comment, share this with other people. And um, yeah, I'll either make another video or I won't.